hello guys welcome back to the channel so for today's video it's actually gonna be a little bit different well i'll be actually cleaning out my interior so pretty much i'll be detailing it showing you guys kind of like step by step how to like clean it really nice and you guys that know i do have the raw red interior and also if you guys are dog owners i do also have a lot of hair in the back <laughs> You guys are wondering i do own a siberian husky and yes she does shed a lot and yeah just like there's like a slight wind right now and then it's already like blowing off of course she makes a little mess right here she is a starbucks fan <laughs> and as for the front there's just like a lot of dust everywhere on the dash even on the new alcantara suede there's already like dust already collecting and even around this area where I have the Alcantara, so there's like some spillage right here and all that. So definitely does need a nice thorough clean. But of course, most importantly, I'll need to actually vacuum it really well. There's a lot of hair everywhere. Now, time for the vacuum. Oof. So I just finished vacuuming the whole car and it was just mainly my dog's hair just everywhere around the car. So as you saw before, yeah, that this whole thing was just filled with hair even including the corners right there. So I'm only going to focus on the seats, the center, and also the dash. I haven't done any cleaning to the seats, so I'm wondering how it's going to look once I'm done finishing cleaning everything up. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys a comparison. Probably I'm going to put like a tape between like in the middle around here or even on the headset. So I went ahead and put tape just between the seats and this side's going to be pretty much where I do the cleaning and the other side is where I pretty much did not do anything to it. First of all, this is the car interior cleaner and this has a really nice pleasant smell. It's kind of citrus, like kind of like an orange smell in a way, but it's not really that strong. It's enough to like pretty much clean off the seats really well. So you don't want anything strong that'll ruin the leather or the coloring of the leather. So definitely want to watch out for that and this is pretty much a bottle with water filled in inside forgot to mention so what I'm gonna be using with this brush is actually I'm just gonna be pretty much scrubbing it the area where I'm gonna be cleaning using the interior cleaner so once I spray on the leather seats I'm just gonna be scrubbing using this and this is called the leather stuff and it's good for the leather cleaning it's like a conditioner in a way too as well but anyways, this is used for a lot of things. Used for rubber, vinyl, leather, and just mentions like different types of like, I guess like trucks, boats and all that. But it's really good. I've used this before on my car and it really did make a difference. And the smell is really, really good. So I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box below with all the products that I'm using right now for the seats, just so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and spray just the area where I'm just gonna be applying it, scrubbing it. Again, it has a nice citrus smell, not really strong. So if you guys notice, it's starting to look like a little bit more foamier. So that's a good thing. So I just wanna make it look a little bit foamy. Now that I let it sit there for one or two minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray just water on it and then just wipe it off with a microfiber. Spray the surface where you applied. Again, not too much water, just enough where you can just wipe it off. Went ahead and removed the tape and I can already tell that half looks really dirty and has like a slight residue of like I guess like dirt oil whatever it is but anyways it's dirty you know and versus this side this is the area where I cleaned it and I don't know if you guys can tell the actual Roja Red seats looks a lot more newer as of like like kind of like bought a brand new but yeah this leather looks a lot more like healthier versus like this side just looks dirty finally got the seats all dried up so it's looking really good before i applied the poor Bros world leather stuff i just want to show you guys how to actually just clean up the screen of the lexus is because i've seen a lot of people where they have like some sort of like peeling going on with the anti-glare screen part so in order to clean the screen don't use any like products on this because it will actually like 
peel off the anti-glare screen so it's real again it's really delicate and if you use some other products that's really hard it'll actually ruin it and another way to actually ruin this is by using the wrong I guess towel or whatever you want to call it but you have to use like a microfiber or some sort of like suede so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my screen for example it's just dusty I don't have no smudges but if you have a smudge on your screen and you want to actually get rid of it you just use water on the microfiber and it should come out pretty easily again the proper way to really wipe this is use the correct microfiber and for me for instance I just have just dust on the screen so I'm just gonna gently just wipe in one direction and then just continue from top to bottom and you can repeat it one more time but it seems like I do have like one smudge right there so I'm probably gonna just use a little bit of water on the microfiber and it should come out pretty easily so you can see that I applied some water right here just spray it a little bit and just gently apply to the screen um, there's no force really you have to use to get rid of the smudge you just have to like repeatedly just follow just the one direction and then it'll come out already clean this is off and it's looking flawless so those of you that already have the peeling going on with the anti-glare screen you can actually replace it it's just really just just this top layer right here you just got to remove it and I believe from the dealership you could get it for like somewhere around like a hundred to two hundred dollars um, it's not too bad honestly but yeah, those of you that's, I guess, like annoyed of having that whole peeling going on on the screen, definitely check it out. So now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna be using the Poor Boys World on the leather seats. And I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing where I'm just gonna put like tape in the middle or somewhere like right here. But just to show you guys the difference, how much this actually makes a difference once you apply it. I'm just using a mega fiber and I applied a good amount just for the seat. So I just applied it to the seat and I can actually already see the difference just on this area this looks a lot more healthier like a healthy leather versus that that looks like a dry just leather I mean it's clean but it's just dry so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the tape and there you go you can definitely see the line right there <laughs> so if you guys are wondering is this one of the products that it gives it that greasy look or that greasy feeling no it does not it's not that greasy feeling at all so again i'm not really a fan of that products that give it a greasy feel this is actually really dry so there's no like grease residue on my fingers or anything like that so that's the reason why i went with the poor Wars world because one of my favorite products for the especially for the leather interior and all that this is actually really good for like leather materials dashboards even plastic rubber seals and all that or even shoes interesting and more of course but <laughs> anyways it's a really good product and it does bring the life of the leather back to life another good thing about this is that it gives it a really nice pleasant smell so it smells like brand new almost it has like a blueberry smell in a way too as well so it's a really interesting smell but it's a really good smell I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the seat because it's starting to look like a kind of like a sun, farmer's tan or whatever you want to call it <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and finish the whole seat and then show you guys the difference between like the passenger seat and the driver's seat. I just finished doing the passenger seat and you can already tell the driver's seat just looks dry like that leather just looks dry compared to this nice healthy raw red interior right there but if you guys notice too also I did actually do my doors as well so that's looking a lot more healthier versus this just looks dry so that product really worked Ooh. so i went ahead and finished everything and it's smelling really really good i really like the smell of that product but seats looking really gorgeous now nicely healthy leather did also the dash and all that even the center console so it's looking really good so if you guys can tell too also I actually cleaned up the Alcantara as well, but that's some other product you gotta use, not the same product. Just for now, I just wanted to show you guys the whole leather seat of the IS. It's from the driver's side. One, two, three. When the sunroof opens up. Yes, sir. Looking sharp now. So interior is looking good. Even for my dog to sit in the back. All that fur is gone now. 
Really hope you guys enjoyed this video of me pretty much just cleaning out the seats of the IS and hope you guys can also do it yourself. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.